Alright, hey guys, what's going on? If you guys have not watched any of my videos before, I do crypto talks on Ethereum. Uh, if you guys don't know what Ethereum is, it is a cryptocurrency and it is very volatile. So what we're going to be talking about today is how to predict this market. Now, I want to go right off disclaimer, no one can predict the future. No one knows what the future is. People don't know if this stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or around. But that being said, we can look at patterns. Now, that's the one first thing that I'm going to talk about is patterns. Now, pattern recognition is something that I've been using for the last month of my investment strategies. It is a huge part of my investment strategy because it has made me a lot of money. Now, when I'm saying pattern recognition, what does that mean? Well, if you guys are looking at this, so this is a, um, if you guys don't know what this is, this is tradingview.com. This is the, basically the whole chart for the last, uh, goes from when the bull market started in January all the way to present day, uh, which is the February 8th. Now, that being said, if you guys are looking at this, there's probably not a lot of things that you notice by just looking at it. But if you start to study this and start to be invested in it, you will notice that there are huge similarities that you can capitalize on. Now, there are a bunch of different ways that you can invest your money. I am no professional. I'm not a financial advisor. This is all me showing you what I'm doing. You guys can try it out if you want. There's no physical assets with cryptocurrency. If you're investing in a stock like Tesla, there is a physical asset. You can go out and buy a Tesla and support Tesla that way. Yes, you can go out and buy Ethereum, but what is that worth? Yeah, right now it's worth 1695 45 USD, but why is that the number? Why is it worth that right now? It's because of the bull market and what is going on. There's no specific net worth. As you guys can see, this is volatile, and this goes up and down every single day. It's a stock market. It's like, look at it as like an economy. This is the way that I'm spending my time for the next... I don't know, five months or so when I think this bull market's going to last. So I'm going to ask you guys right off the bat, do you guys notice anything? Okay, I'm going to ask you, do you notice anything that you can see in here that sort of look identical to each other? Not even identical, but similar to each other. Now, if you said these two things, you would be correct. Now, based off this, what can we see from these two things? So obviously, there's a huge hype. There was a huge spike. This is where the bull market started down here. And we went up, 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 solid, 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 right? People got excited. They started taking profits, went down a little bit. People were on the hype again. Okay, Some people took profits again. Then we got to this tippy-tippy top, which was uh, around touching all-time highs. Again, you should be looking at all-time highs because it's, it's a resistant point. So if we guys go back, sorry, I'll go back five years. So if we go back... Um, it was around here, right? So it was it was bouncing off the resistant point, but it did not go over all time highs. So this is back in 2017. So if we're looking back at this, right? So it was bouncing off it, and what happened is is people don't want it to get to the all time highs. Why do people not want to get it to the all time highs? Is because it's in a euphoria stage. You guys don't understand euphoria, and they don't want the market to stop or the the bullish trend to stop so soon. If you don't understand what euphoria is, go check out my other YouTube video. It was the first one that I posted on this channel. It'll explain all this stuff. So what happens? People dump. The smart people, the people that are taking profits and using this for the advantage because they have been in this market before, three years ago. They wait for this stuff. They've been waiting years for this to happen again. You don't think that they're prepared and know exactly what to do and build this market? So there you go. They dumped. So what happens now? They got to a certain low point. Everyone's like, okay, well, look at this right here. This resistant point right here, resistant point. We can't go below this because then we're going to start getting back into, you know, a bearish sort of trend. So let's start pumping money back in. Hype came back up. Okay, great time to invest. Yeah, 900. If you're in, invested in 900 and it's 1700 right now, perfect, right? That's awesome. So again, up, 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 up. People are taking some profits. Again, all the way up and then we get to that resistant point right where it was I think it was around here yeah so it was around here it bursted through that right by 100 USD people thought we were getting to a euphoria stage again and we dump again it has happened twice literally physically has happened twice I was in the market when this happened I thought that it was going to happen again and I thought it was going to continuously happen and I I still to this day think that this is going to continuously happen so after that same thing right so it dumped right back down to a thousand went all the way back up to all-time highs again it did not really break that barrier too much as you guys can see 
right? Went right back down. But this time, if you notice, the dips kept getting smaller each time. All right, so that's another important thing that you guys should be looking at is these dips continuously get smaller each time, right? So the dips aren't as substantial, but that's because the market is getting more saturated with people that are inside of it buying and selling it. And then we had this part right here. This was an interesting part. This is the consolidation part that I've seen. There's still a little bit of money to be made right here, right? So if you sold at 1478 and you got in at 1220 again, there's some profit there, but it's consolidated. And now, where are we at? Again, this was a huge uptrend. Again, it got bigger because, again, the market has to continuously grow because the people that are buying in at these high prices want to see that they're making money and not losing out in money. So, again, right? We're at this. So now this stage, what does this stage look like? Right, so now we get to this stage. Now this stage is a whole different thing in my mind. And it's something that I'm learning every single day, but you can manipulate the market as well. So the first thing is what I'm saying is look at patterns. You know, what's happened before will happen again is the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, sure thing, new things will happen. Murphy's Law, anything that can happen will happen. So you always have to understand that. My whole idea is to take profits during this to make the most amount of money at the end, right? Because you're going to lose out in profits. And if you guys don't know what taking profit means or my strategy, okay, and you want to just sort of listen to me talk for another 10 minutes, go check out my YouTube video again. I made that up there too. People are in there. They're understanding what I'm talking about and how holding long, yeah, sure, is probably going to make you money, but you're also going to lose out money. So now, second thing is social media influence on this market okay manipulation of this market is another super important thing so if you guys were a part of what happened yesterday you guys will notice that there was a huge 10 percent decrease in the market okay out of nowhere crashed a little bit right how i knew that this was going to happen is because of social media what's happening in the world if there is some sort of you know event that happens so right here, if you guys see up on the page, you guys will talk about this. All right, it says right up here, Ethereum crashes 10% a day before institutions can short it on CME. Now, that being said, right, that was happening. They knew February 8th, the CME, it was going to be, Ethereum was going to be put on CME so that there's people out there that can short it now. If you guys don't know what shorting means, it means bet against Ethereum doing well. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to mean that it's going to go to zero but they can short it so it's going to be a certain price by a certain time. If you don't think that this is going to change the game or change how Ethereum works, you guys are in for a rude awakening. So social media is a huge manipulator. If you look at social media, even the big YouTuber, uh, to get it over the hump to, I think it was 1500 Okay, there was a hump. I think it was right here. Yeah. So people, I ended up selling, right? And everyone on my channel thought I was crazy again. Because they sold at 1440. Again, I made decent profit. That's all I'm caring about is decent profit. And they actually got it to push over the euphoria stage and kept going and kept going. And we all, you know, we got up to this 1550 for a little consolidation. Then we went all the way up to 17. Now we're at all new, new all time highs now. But the manipulation of the big YouTubers got us here. That's they're all telling you to do something at a certain time. And that amount of fluctuation into the market, again, drove the price up for Ethereum. So again, whatever uh, the big YouTubers are saying, I guarantee you it has an effect on what's going on. Even Not even the YouTubers, Elon Musk and Dogecoin. Look at Dogecoin right now. It's almost at 10 cents. If you guys don't think that manipulation and the social media and how it affects the market is real, that is something that you need to look into as well. So those are the two major things that you guys should be looking at when predicting the market and I'm not a fortune teller but I can base it off of and I can make an educated guess based off the information that I've seen before and have on hand maybe you're investing in Ethereum because someone told you to get into Ethereum you want to learn a little bit more about your investment by all means subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, if you're coming in from over from TikTok, that's awesome as well I have a TikTok channel that I post on every single day talking about Ethereum and what's going on if you guys want to learn how to invest your money or just learn a little bit more about Ethereum, please subscribe to the channel, check the TikTok out, like the video up, leave a comment down below on any questions that you have. As always, what we like to do is we like to play it off with some music.